Windows 11 clean, sleek design by people who probably never used a CRT monitor. But what if we could fix that? Today I'm going to take this cutting edge operating system and make it look like it just booted off a floppy disk. Why? Because progress is overrated. We'll be replacing modern design with grey windows, 8-bit icons and that familiar sense of mild confusion you felt in 1998. Pretty much after following this tutorial you guys will get this really cool 95 Windows cursor, as well as this start menu at the bottom, and also the taskbar, which screams Windows 95. And of course, the icons as well. Just look at this recycle bin icon. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So, first, let's customize this Windows 11 taskbar. First of all, go to your web browser and make sure that you search for Retrobar. I will also put this link in the video description down below, by the way. So here, click on the releases and make sure that you download the right version. Here, I will go with this one, but for you, it's maybe this one, 64-bit. And then once you have the zip file, you guys will navigate here to your file explorer. Click on extract all and then once again. Now here, you should get this extracted folder and make sure that you right click on it and click here on cut. Now we are going to go here inside the local disk C directory and inside program files. Here, make sure that you paste this folder inside. Now, once you have this folder here, you can go here inside, and now you will double left click on this program. So retro bar, you will get this message, Windows protected your PC. You can just ignore it by clicking here on more information and then click here on run anyway. Then you will get this message to install this desktop runtime. Click yes here and you will be redirected to this website. It should start the download immediately. Now just click on the .exe installer and install it on your computer. Now, after the successful installation, click on close on the installer, double left click on the retro bar and repeat the process, click on more info and run anyway. And now you should have a brand new taskbar. Now, if you have the start menu, which is here on the middle, you will go here to the settings and then here under the personalization, you will go under the taskbar and down below we'll find this option, taskbar behaviors and make sure to change this taskbar alignment to the left. So now when you click on start, it should open this start menu. Now we can also customize a few settings if you right click on it and click here on properties. Now here you can change the theme. For example, you can go with system XP and this is what this one looks like. And also for example, Windows XP blue, I will go with Windows 95 to 98. So make sure to click on this option. Then you can also lock the taskbar and also add the show desktop button and this will show this button here on the right. If you click on it, it should open the desktop. And yeah, this is pretty much very, very cool. Now under the advanced, make sure that you enable this option, automatically start at logon. And uh, that is pretty much it for this retro bar properties. If you, for example, have multiple monitors, you guys can also enable this option. Click on OK and that is pretty much it. Now let's sort out the start menu as well because this is the default Windows 11 start menu and we want to be matching the taskbar as well. So let's go here to web browser and make sure that you search for the open shell. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this type of content, make sure to smash up the like button on this video and subscribe to this channel for more tech tips every single week. Now here you will scroll down and click here on the releases and down below you will download this exe file. You can just click on it to start the installer click on more information and click here on run anyway. Now, if you get this error, this app can't run on this device, click on cancel and then navigate here back to your file explorer. Inside here, click on downloads folder where we have this open shell setup. You will here click on it and then click on this option to rename it. Now what we will do is to remove all these letters. So it will only stay open shell.exe. Now, in case you don't see the endings of the files, you guys can click here on view, click on show, and then also enable file name extensions. Now you should properly see here .exe at the end of this setup file. Now you can double left click on this setup, click on more info and run anyway. And now the installer is actually working. 
just install it on your computer as you would any other program. Now, once you have OpenShell up and running, you guys will customize it by clicking here on classic style. Make sure that you have this replace star button unchecked. And then here you will go to the skin options. Here under the skin, you guys will click here on classic skin and then you guys will click on O. Okay. Now, if I open the start menu, this is what the start menu actually looks like. So with the taskbar and also the start menu out of the way, let's also customize this Windows 11 cursor to make it look like Windows 95 to 98. So go to your web browser and here search for Windows 95 cursor. So make sure that you search for that and go to this link from RW Designer. Here what you will do, you will just click on download button here and you should get here this file in zip format. Click on extract all and then once again on extract. And here you should have plenty of .cur files. How can you install them is go here to the start menu, search for mouse. And here you will find this option, change how the mouse pointer looks. Click on this. In this menu, you guys will have to customize the cursor with every single option here inside this downloads folder. So pretty much what you will do, you will click on normal select here, click on browse and now navigate here to this desktop go to downloads folder and here you'll find this folder windows 95 to 98. Now make sure that you replace the arrow cur with the normal select. And you can see here that we already have this change. Now for the help select, you guys will go browse and now you can just find the help cursor here. So in this case is this one with the help in name, click on open and now for working in background, do the same and click on which one is it? I think this one and click on open. And now for busy, you can go to browse and click on this one and click on open. Now you can click on apply and you should immediately see the change here. And you guys can also save it as let's say Windows 95 to 98. So just like this, click on OK and OK once again. Now we already have the cursor start menu as well as the taskbar. Now let's also apply the wallpaper and make sure that you stay tuned until the end. I will also show you how to modify the icons on your desktop. So here, make sure that you search for Windows 95 teal wallpaper. You can go here to Reddit, right click here on the image and click here, open image in new tab. Then you will be redirected here to this website, right click on it and click save image as and click on save. Now you guys can go here to the file explorer and make sure that you select the image here and click on set as background. Now, if you want to have this same image as your lock screen, you guys will right click on desktop, then go here to personalize. And here, make sure that you go here under the lock screen and make sure that you have this option set to picture. And under the recent images, you guys will click on browse photos, then go to your downloads folder and click on the photo you got from Reddit. So now you also should have the same photo for your lock screen. So let me show you this. Now, the last thing to pretty much do are the Windows 95 icons. Now I found this file on Reddit as well. And I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. And here click on this arrow to download the icon pack. Now, once you have this file, which should end with 7z, click here to extract all. And then once again, click on extract. Now, once you have this extracted folder here, you guys will have to change the icons for the shortcuts on your desktop. So for example, this recycle bin, I will right click on it and here I will click on show more options. And now I will click here on create shortcut. Now with this icon, I will right click on it once again, click on properties and here we can click on change icon, click on browse and now navigate here to your downloads folder go inside the icons folder. And here you should go inside the ICO folder as well. And make sure to find here the recycle bin. Now click on open, click on okay and apply. And now we can see here how the new icon and the Windows 95 icon actually compare. Now, if you want to remove the recycle bin from your desktop, you guys will right click on it here, go to the personalize and here go to the themes options. Down below, you will find this option desktop icon settings. Just click on it 
and uncheck here recycle bin click on apply and okay and now you guys can also just rename this shortcut to recycle bin only and that is pretty much it and place it somewhere here. This icon pack has a lot more of the icons for VirtualBox, for example, Steam, and make sure that you change them the same way I did for the recycle bin. So yeah, I think that this is pretty much the setup. This is the start menu. We also have here the taskbar and also the icons are also here. Here. Now let me show you quickly the task manager, how many of the resources this all programs are actually using. For example, Retrobar where it actually is. So Retrobar is here. It's using 60 megabytes of the memory, which is not a lot in my opinion. And then OpenShell in this case is here. 2.7 megabytes of the memory. So I think it's totally worth it for this customization. It's not a lot in my opinion. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash up the like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already for more tech tips every single week. With that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next one.